Hi guys, Sandra here of the blog with SensibleMom.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have several hauls to share with you. I went to Sam's Club and Costco and Trader Joe's. I've got some things from Meyer that I've uh, been waiting to put away because I want to share those with you. Uh, we've also got some stuff from Staples and then we also stopped off at Lowe's. So I have a lot to share in this video. I'm going to start off with a Sam's Club. We just got home and we picked up this two pack of Parmesan cheese. I bought this one other time from Sam's Club and my kids really enjoyed it. So when I saw it there today, I decided to go ahead and grab it because this is actually surprisingly hard to find. They don't carry this two pack at every Sam's. So when I saw it today, of course we had to bring some home. And then as a treat, we picked up some croissants. My kids will enjoy those. And then we always, always uh, like to keep tortillas in the house. We use these for a variety of different meals. So we picked up two packs of those. And then I recently tried out this stir fry mix. It comes in five individual packs uh, from Sam's Club and I really enjoyed it. It isn't amazing. It doesn't taste perfectly fresh. But it's something that uh, is so easy to um, to do. All I do is literally grab a pack um, out of the freezer, throw it into the microwave for about seven minutes, add some sweet and sour sauce, and boom, we've got. Um, well, for myself anyway, this is what I eat. Um, I um, just make a plate of uh, this stir fry for myself when I want um, a super easy lunch for myself or a really easy dinner for myself when my husband's out of town or whatever. And I really love it. So this time we picked up two packs. So this should last me a little while. And then for non-food items, we bought some more of these Cottonelle flushable wipes. And I love that there is an Ibotta on this. I will be um, uh, uploading my receipt to Ibotta to get the two bucks. And then we also picked up some paper plates. And out here in the garage is the Ice Mountain that we picked up from Sam's Club. We grabbed this uh, six gallon jug pack of Ice Mountain water. So for around $72, we brought all of this home from Sam's Club. Now I'm gonna show you what we brought home from Costco. All right, so next up is Costco. I spent right around $128 there, and I think we brought home quite a bit. I've got my receipt next to me so that I can share the prices on some of these things, just in case you guys wanna head out and get them as well, because there are, are some good deals to be had on some of these items at Costco this month. I'll start right here with these sausages. These were not on sale, these were $7.99, but you get three packs for $7.99 and we like to buy this regularly from Costco because it's a good deal. You get them cheaper there than you, you get them in the regular grocery store for three packs anyway. So we grabbed those and then we picked up some of these cage-free eggs. These were $3.29 but for two dozen eggs, two dozen cage-free eggs, that's a pretty good deal. And we're going to be making some homemade pizzas in the near future. So we grabbed this two pack of mozzarella cheese. I can't wait to make the pizzas. Honestly, we haven't uh, made homemade pizzas in a while and I know my kids are going to enjoy them. And then we ended up picking these up because we had a free sample at Costco and these were delicious and they're on sale. So these dumplings are typically $11.99 and they're $4 off right now. So these were only $7.99 um, and they were so good. So my husband and I are gonna enjoy these. And then right here, uh, we brought home some pork chops just to make for an easy dinner and lunch. We'll get two to three meals out of this pack of pork chops. And at Costco, it was only $12.69, so that's a pretty good deal. And then these chicken nuggets I had seen in someone else's grocery haul here on YouTube. They're on sale right now. They are typically $10.99 and they're $4 off. So they were only $6.99, which is a pretty good deal for chicken nuggets. I don't think we've ever tried these. They're the pinko breaded chicken nuggets. So 
I hope my kids like these, um, but I thought they were a good deal, so I went ahead and grabbed those. And then, you guys have seen this before in my hauls, we do buy Cinnamon Toast Crunch from Costco uh, pretty regularly, and I decided to go ahead and get some today, even though we don't really need cereal, because this uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is typically $6.49 and is on sale right now. Um, they're taking $2.10 off, so that's a pretty good deal. And then these are also on sale. The Eggo Waffles, which we've bought one other time and we honestly still have plenty left in the freezer. But um, since these were on sale, we decided to go ahead and pick up a box today. It's not gonna hurt. These will last a long time in the freezer. This uh, box of Eggo Waffles is normally $9.99, but it's on sale right now for $3 off. So it was only $6.99. So like I said, It'll take us a while to finish these off, but that's fine. And then for non-food items, we picked up some sponges. I'm down to my last sponge, and I'm a little bit weird about sponges. I don't like when they get all you know, gross and everything, and I switch them out often. So um, we decided to go ahead and get the big pack today, the 21 pack. We bought this in the past, and we like these sponges. So um, we went ahead and grabbed those today, and then you guys saw that I bought paper plates from Sam's Club and I bought them there because they're usually cheaper there than Costco but these are actually on sale at Costco right now these were on sale for I'm looking at my receipt right now they're normally $16.99 and they were $3.50 off so they were actually cheaper than the plates from Sam's Club but um, I'm not gonna go back to Sam's Club and return the other plates. We'll use these. So I went ahead and grabbed those today. And then uh, these napkins were on sale for $4 off. These are the Bounty. And sorry for the glare. There's 12 big rolls in here. This is a really big package. This will last us a long time. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then finally, we need a toilet paper and it's actually cheaper, we found, to buy it from Costco than Sam's Club because at Costco, this is $21.99. And I saw today at Sam's Club that the same, the same 36 pack is over $23. So it's cheaper to buy it at Costco than Sam's Club. So this is everything that I brought home from Costco today. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up from Trader Joe's. At Trader Joe's, we spent right around $30. And we honestly went there for pepperoni for the pizzas that I'll be making. But sadly, they were all out of pepperoni and the employee there said that they're gonna get some more in tomorrow. We're not gonna go back tomorrow. We'll just wait a week and um, we'll go next weekend or something like that. So since we were there, we ended up just picking up a few items, not a whole lot, but I thought I'd share that anyway. So we, of course, love their mandarin chicken. And when I make it for my family, I almost always make two bags. So we picked up two bags of this mandarin chicken. And then gnocchi seems to be all the rage on the internet right now. And I don't think I've ever tried it before. So we decided to go ahead and uh, pick up this from Trader Joe's. It's gnocchi a la Sorrentina and give it a try and we'll see how we like it and then my husband really wanted some mozzarella sticks so we picked up two bags my kids are really wishy-washy about mozzarella sticks one day they love them and the next time i make them they're kind of like eh, and i have leftovers um but since my husband wanted them today we went again we went ahead and picked these up and uh, hopefully when we make these uh, my kids will want to eat some too and then over here, we picked up two cans of whipped cream because we're almost out. We're, on, we're down to like our last can of whipped cream. And this is our favorite brand, favorite kind. So we picked up two cans today. And then my husband saw this uh, ramen soup in a cup. And it's the chicken flavor. He's never tried this before. We don't usually ever, ever buy these. But this is just a fun, um, easy snack to have, let's say at nighttime when we are watching Dateline or something like that. So he went ahead and picked one of these up today. And then finally, we bought these sun-dried tomatoes 
to try it on our pizza. We usually like to make a veggie pizza for ourselves when I make homemade pizzas for uh, our family. So we're gonna go ahead and give these a try. So this is everything we picked up from Trader Joe's. Next, I'm gonna show you a Meyer haul. So I don't have a really big Meyer haul to share, but I wanted to show you what I've recently found on clearance there. And also just encourage you guys to check them out uh, because around this time of year, they tend to have pretty good clearance sales. We saw a lot of their toys on clearance and we honestly, um, we bought some of those and uh, those are put away for uh, birthdays and Christmas and things like that. So if you have a Meyer in your area, you might want to check them out for that. They also tend to have pretty good clearance on their summer items and um, like their lawn furniture. We bought a chair recently and um, just other outside items. Um, uh, they tend to have pretty good clearance on those items consistently year after year at Meyer, So you might want to check them out for that too. But anyway, here are some of the items that I recently found at Meyer that I wanted to show you guys. So I'll start right here. I found these condiment bottles for only $1.20 for two of them. And I thought that I could use these either in the kitchen for something or um, in the past I've used... Uh, condiment bottles if I make homemade hair conditioner. Uh, these are great for homemade hair conditioner as well. I have a video on how to do that and I'll have that linked down below if you're interested. But for only $1.20, I thought that was a good deal. And then right here, I found these baskets with, they're called suction baskets and they are something that we're planning to use in the bathroom and they were on clearance for only five dollars and ten cents each that's a great deal so we thought we could use these in the bathroom to take our lotions and some things off the counter and i just thought for five dollars and ten cents uh, you know, we can totally organize our bathroom with these uh, so that um, it works better for us. So we picked up two of those. And then finally, the last thing that I have to show you is this uh, cabinet, wall and cabinet organizer by Command. And it's originally, it was originally $27.99 and we got it for only $6.99. So that's an amazing deal. The picture on the side here is kind of how I'm thinking that we'll use it. I wanna have my husband install it um, in the door of our bathroom cabinet and then we can store items in it there. I think um, that would be a great way to utilize this, but this was a good deal, too good to pass up. So I'm glad we found that. So these are the things that I wanna show you guys, I wanted to show you guys from Meyer. Now I'm gonna show you what we picked up from Lowe's. At Lowe's we spent $82, but I bought two cans of paint and I'm gonna get 50% 50, 50 back on one of these in a Lowe's rebate. Because for this weekend, they've got a buy one, get one half off sale going on right now. Not really a sale, really a sale but it's, it's a rebate. So you do have to go on the website. But we've done Lowe's rebates in the past and they're pretty quick. I would say most of the time we've had our rebate back in gift card form um, and it's just, you know, it's just digital. So I can just pull up the gift card right on my phone and, you know, show the cashier and use it that way or I think you can print it off or whatever. But anyway, we've had good success using uh, doing those rebates in the past. So we wanted to go ahead and take advantage of this one today. We didn't even know about it, but I'm glad that they were having it going on because we went there to buy um, this paint here, but since they were having the rebate going on and since we know that we'll probably end up buying Another can in the future. We thought let's save a little money and Let's just buy both cans today. So that's what we did So we picked up this Valspar signature paint in ultra white with a satin finish we uh, bought this paint not too long ago and we used it for our storage room we used it to paint an area um, uh, sort of off of our kitchen and I've used to paint some other stuff and we really like it so we went ahead and picked up some more of this today and then we needed another roller 
and I haven't tried out the Valspar rollers just yet and I did find out that not every roller is the same and not every brand is the same quality. So I specifically wanted a Wooster roller because I found that Wooster's a really good brand and I like their products, but they were all out of Wooster. It seems like they switched all of the Wooster stuff out for Valspar. So that was a little uh, disappointing, but um, I'm assuming that, you know, hey, Valspar does paint. So hopefully they uh, make a good roller and this works out for us. So we got all this today at Lowe's for $82. So next I have a very quick Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I've got these items here that I picked up recently. These storage bags, I obviously already opened it and used one and they're pretty good quality. So this is something that I would definitely buy again. And then we really wanted to get some freezer bags because whenever we want a freezer bag, uh, we don't have any. So when we saw these at of uh, a Dollar Tree. We decided to go ahead and grab those. I picked up this pack of uh, sandpaper and as you can see there's quite a lot of sandpaper in here and I've actually already used one. I just cut a piece of it and it worked out pretty well. So I think that's a good deal for a dollar. And then we found the uh, dental flossers that we like. We love this brand and for 60 I thought that was a pretty good deal for only one dollar. And then finally, we're going to be starting school pretty soon, and Elizabeth needs a tablet to practice her writing in, which is what it looks like on the inside, and so I decided to go ahead and grab that for her. I'm sure she's going to enjoy that. So this is what I picked up from the Dollar Tree, these five items, and I obviously paid right around $5 for these. Next, I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that my husband found on clearance at Staples. He found this magic mount, and I've got one of these. I showed it in a previous haul. Um, I'll link that down below. I got mine from Walmart. It was on sale for only $7, and I used it in our minivan, and I love it. And he really enjoys it too, but you know he doesn't have anything to put in his work vehicle. So when he saw this for only ten dollars he went ahead and picked it up and this comes with two magic mounts and it also comes with a bonus car charger and flashlight and then these are the magnets that you put on your phone um, that you use to mount um, onto the on, onto these right here and then I want to show you guys that you don't you, you don't only have to use these in your car you can also use these at home and the magnets are very strong, strong enough to hold up an iPad. So if you wanted to uh, use it for something like that, you certainly could. These have just been really great. So for only $10 on clearance at Staples, that was a really good deal. And then he also picked up a clipboard to use for work and that was $2. And then these didn't come from Staples. But I saw these out in the garage when I went to go grab these items. These are for Meyer, and um, my husband had found these on clearance at Meyer for our kids. As you can see, these are these were only three dollars and ninety cents each, which is a great deal for for these Disney bubble ones. My kids are going to love these. We're planning a trip to Florida before the end of the year and we're going to save these to use on that trip so these are going to come in handy and they're like these are like twenty dollars the disney version they're like twenty dollars each maybe more at disney world twenty to twenty five somewhere around there so to get these for only three dollars and ninety nine cents or three dollars and ninety cents is a great deal so that's all for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you found any good deals lately, let me know down in the comment section below what you found and where you found it. I'd love to hear about it. Until next time, I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.